I'm here today to talk to young people with disabilities and their parents, maybe educators, someone looking to hire someone with a disability, about knowing yourself, loving yourself, being yourself. I have a certified public accountant license, but recently left that line of work in order to help people with autism and their parents, educators, potential employers, full time. Because I am on the autism spectrum, and I've discovered that more and more people need to see someone who has been through the struggles that they are currently going through, and that they can still come out on top. So the talk I'd like to give today, know yourself, love yourself, be yourself. It's a mantra that I created when my mother asked me, if you could tell self-advocates, people with disabilities, anything, what would it be? It starts with knowing yourself. And by knowing yourself, knowing about your disorder or your disability or your condition, whatever you may call it, and how it affects you. Not only what you can do well, but also items you can work on. If you address one but not the other, then you're not going to live the most fruitful life that you can. Because the more knowledge you have about yourself and what you can and cannot necessarily do, the better off you will be to move forward. Think of it as putting gasoline in a car. If you just sit in your car and you don't put your foot on the gas pedal and the knowledge, your fuel, just kind of burns away through the exhaust pipe, but once you put the gas down, you start to move forward. And as you get more and more information along the lines, you might be, oh, I need information about going to college. Fill her up, put some more knowledge in your gas tank. Apply that. I need more information about finding a job. Get more information, fill her up. Apply that. I want more information about moving out of my parents' house. Fill her up. And this goes on and on forever, because as far as we know, cars will always need gasoline. Maybe not those fuel efficiency vehicles, but the point is, keep driving and filling up with more and more information, and this is a continuous process throughout your life. It's never stop learning, because nobody knows everything about everything, nor should you be expected to. So by having what Tony Robbins calls constant and never-ending improvement, always having a thirst for knowledge, will you be able to drive your life forward. So now that you know you have a disorder or a disability, it's coming to the part where you love yourself. Finding out you have a disorder or a disability can be devastating. I know when I first got diagnosed, I thought I was broken, that I was hopeless, things were not gonna get better. But once my parents let me know that they were gonna love me no matter what, disability or not, they would always fight for me, be my greatest allies. That gave me the confidence to start speaking up and fighting for myself. And that I can be accepted, warts and all. Getting back to our car example, focusing on what's in front of you instead of behind you. Because if you're stuck in the past, it's like driving forward while looking in the rear view mirror the entire time. Driving along, oh, I'm so angry. Life sucks. You start to weave a little bit, maybe go on the wrong lane. And then all of a sudden, you lose sight of what's right in front of you. Because you're too focused on what happened in the past and how you can change that. You can't change the past. You can learn from the past, but live in the present and look towards the future. Because that way, you'll be able to make the most of life and realize that you are worthy of love and that it must come from within. If you wait for others to love you, you're gonna be really, really unhappy. Starting by loving yourself, others will love you in return. Now, a lot of us tend to be people pleasers, kind of live our life to please others, be yes men, say yes when we want, meant to say no, that comes to the third part of my mantra, being yourself. You can't live your life to please others. Nor should you have to sacrifice what you want to do or who you want to be for other people. I was that yes man saying yes when I really meant no. And as a result of my quest to make people, everyone else happy, I lost my happiness in the process. So by being yourself, standing up for yourself, and working towards being your best self, Getting back to our car example, if 
you've ever driven an old clunker car, it's got like hundreds of thousands of miles on it and it's getting tougher and tougher to maintain and you're still moving forward but very, very slowly. It gets tougher and tougher. So what do you do as a result? Get yourself a newer car. Being open to other people's ideas. And you still get to drive. That's being yourself. But when you are in a newer car, you've listened to the opinions of others, taken them into consideration, you can really start to enjoy the ride. That's being your best self. So know yourself, love yourself, be yourself. Put these three things into your life and you can live the best life possible. I'm Tom Island. Please visit my website, www.thomasisland.com for more of my presentations and book me for a speech at your organization. Thank you.